Now, after months and months of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and cricket and more waiting, more cricket, it's here. Because I'm um, TLT. I said I'm dynamite. TLT. And I'll win the fight. TLT. Watch me explode. Teamless Tuesday, Michelle, for the very first time for 2024. Now I'm getting pumped I'm right pumped. now. Actually, I'm even more pumped. I've just switched the page. I've seen the Seagulls, Rabbitohs, but some of the names in the lineup with that Roosters, uh, Broncos. Wow, that is it's an exciting, it's such an exciting game. Can't wait. And what about just look at the fullbacks? So just look at the number one for each team. You got Tommy Trebojevic. You've got uh, you've got James Tedesco there for the Roosters. You got Reese Walsh there for the Broncos. You got Latrell Mitchell there for exactly South Sydney. It's wow. massive, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. Okay, let's go through the main pointers here. So Luke Brooks will get his first start in the number six for Manly alongside Daly Cherry Evans. Cooler will go left centre, Garrick right centre. Jackson Paulo gets that left wing position. Um, ben Trebojevic in the back row, Jake Trebojevic. So all three Trebojevic boys will be starting the match for Manly. Uh, on the bench, you've got Lawton, Waddell, Bullimore and Brown. Brown, I'm interested to say, I reckon he'll absolutely smash it this year. I really? think he needs to be, he's, he's in a side where, it, I mean, he's been so consistent. He was he was tops at Parramatta. I think there was, you know, relationship breakdowns and all that sort of stuff. But um, from all reports, I, I think he's really, you know, fitted into that squad over there well, and I'm excited to see him play this year. Sean Kepi wins a starting spot for South Sydney, so he'll start in jersey number 10. Uh, Tommy Burgess goes to the bench. We've been used to seeing him start. And... This is an inexperienced right-hand side, and that's why I think Cooler might have a field day against South. You've got Jacob Gagai on the mm. right-hand side for South. You've got Richard Kenner on the right-hand side for South, and then you've got the halfback, Lockie Ilias, inside them. I've got no doubt about it. Uh, Turbo loves going to the left. They're going to target that area for sure. Um, and and this round is almost who's not in the team. Talis Duncan's missed out on the 17 for South. Tommy Talao and Brad Parker have missed out for Manly. Now, Michelle, we move on to the Roosters and the Broncos, the second game at Allegiant Stadium. We know that um, Dominic Young is out, so Billy Smith will be in the centres. Swali'i on the wing. So he'll play right wing by the looks of it. Tupu plays on the left. Kiri and Sam Walker. Sam Walker's going to have a big job marking Piakura. Uh, but I love this. This is a good story. Satili Tupanua, who's been out for some time, he's made his way straight back into the starting side alongside Siwa Wong. So a new look back row for the Roosters. Spencer Lenu is straight into the side. No, Jared, of course, due to suspension. Uh, Nat Butcher's on the bench. Terrell May's on the bench. But missing out of the 17, Angus Crichton, Egan Butcher and Connor Watson. Fair, fair names to be missing out. So that's what I'm saying. We, you know, it is. It's a, it's an, it's an, I, I, look, that whole matchup, that whole, it's, it's going to... Uh, I couldn't have picked a better game to, to display to people who haven't seen the game before, you know, by looking at those lineups. Yep. Uh, as we mentioned about Brendan Piercora, so he's owned that uh, left back row position, which Capewell had. Uh, and as I said, he'll be marked by um, Walker. So that's a big challenge for him. Corey Oates has missed out in the 17. Apparently he's had a terrific off-season. Tristan Saylor's missed out. Marty Tapao has also missed out there for the Broncos. As we know, Selwyn Cobbo is going to be in the centres. But the big one who's won the wing spot, Dean Mariner. Jesse Arthur's had a wonderful grand final. So no surprise to see him there. But other than that, everything all looks set to go. Adam G will referee that one. He's got the uh, the grand final referee gets that. Nashley Klein gets the first match of the year. So it's all getting a bit fair, Nickham, now, Michelle. Oh, and as I say, I can't wait. I'm, um, you know, the other one I'm interested to see how he'll uh, pan out this year because I, I, I sort of was had big negative thoughts, and that was Spencer Lenu making that switch from Penrith to the Roosters. Just didn't think he was cut out for it. Really? Um, I thought he, I thought he'd be someone that would uh, struggle because he sort of hasn't gone any further than Minchinbury. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I mean, funny story about how he ended up even playing rugby league. He was over here, went to a, a, a have a happy McHappy meal at Minchinbury McDonald's and there was a registration day at the Minchinbury Jets and they convinced him to sign up and that was the start of his career. Wow. As a little, you know, five or six year old. He'd, he'd never had much of an interest in rugby league. But what I'm saying is he was as thick as these with those boys out there and I just thought, just because you know, you know the culture is extremely different from yep. the way the Roosters function to the way the Panthers, who's wrong, who's, there's no judgment, but they are very different. But I've been told absolutely wrong. He's thriving, loving the culture, soaking it up and being every bit of a rooster that he can be. What a player. Quickly. What a player. And see, Penrith are going to miss him. They're going to miss Crichton. They will. Uh, that's going to be interesting there.